Praise the Lord. So we see in the book of Isaiah, in chapter 24, the state of the earth, because there is a very long haul between the rapture and the return of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because you've got the seven trumpet judgments followed by the outpouring of the vials. But to get a picture of what the earth will be like, after the rapture, before Jesus Christ returns, it is a catastrophic, in a catastrophic state, a cursed earth. Let's begin uh, in Isaiah chapter 24, verse 1. It says, Behold, the Lord maketh the earth empty and maketh it waste, and turneth it upside down, and scattereth abroad the inhabitants thereof. And it goes on to talk about, um, you know, as with the people, so with the priest, yada, yada. And then you get down, we'll go down to verse 3. The land shall be utterly emptied and utterly spoiled. For the Lord hath spoken this word. The earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languisheth and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance. Therefore hath the curse devoured the earth and they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burned and few men left. We see that in the book of Revelation, how the heat of the sun will be scorched. The men will be scorched. And look at that. This is this is before Jesus Christ returns. The, the the inhabitants, the inhabitants of the earth are burned and few men left. When Jesus Christ returns, there'll be few. Hopefully the saints will be martyred. They'll wash their garments in blood. Okay, so reading on, it says that uh, all joy is darkened, the mirth of the land is gone, uh, in the city is left desolation, and the gate is smitten with destruction. It just the whole of 24 is talking about how bad the earth's going to be. Uh, let's, let's move on to verse 17. Fear and the pit and the snare are upon thee, O inhabitant of the earth. Um, let's let's move forward to verse 19 the earth is utterly broken down the earth is clean dissolved the earth is moved exceedingly the earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard and shall be removed like a cottage and the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it and it shall fall and not rise again and it shall come to pass on that day that the Lord shall punish the host of the high ones that are on high and the kings of the earth upon the earth and they shall be gathered together as prisoners are gathered in the pit and shall be shut up in the prison. And after many days shall they be visited. Then the sun shall be confounded and the, sorry, and then the moon shall be confounded and the sun ashamed when the Lord of hosts shall reign in Mount Zion in Jerusalem and before his ancients gloriously praise the Lord. So we see at the end, finally, uh, Jesus Christ returns and will be reigning from Mount Zion, or Zion, if you want to pronounce it that, and in Jerusalem, and before his ancients gloriously praise the Lord. Well, I doubt that any of us now will be around when the Lord Jesus Christ returns, but... You may be around for the rapture. Be ready.